Shalom, all praise is honor and glory. It goes the Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekha Kadash. The blindness to the apostles, the blindness to the elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Brack to the whole full leg, Shalom, Shalom. In today's video, we're going to go through this. It's going to be another edition. You know, I used to do these videos probably like last year, a couple years ago. Untitled it, uh, Is This the Breakdown? Where, uh, you know, we go through Christian uh, commentaries, videos of certain Bible chapters. And, you know, we analyze it with the real truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Obviously, uh, as you can see in the title, Obadiah chapter 1 summary and what the Most High wants from us. Now, you see one thing about the Christian church. They're going to cover Obadiah. They're going to tell you, OK, yeah, it's a prophecy. Okay, yeah, these these things must come to pass. But what they are not going to tell you is who is the nation of Edom. See what I'm saying? Because when you have a, a major prophecy like this one, especially when it comes to Obadiah 118. And, you know, this guy even mentions the importance of Obadiah 118. When it goes to, you know, there should be none. It's like there should be none remaining of the house of Esau. That's speaking of a specific people. Somebody has to identify as the Edomites on these last uh, days upon the earth. You see, but let's go ahead and, and, and get it started, man. You know, for those who don't know, you know, Esau Edom is a so-called white man in America and abroad. Welcome back to the Bible says what? Today, I will summarize Obadiah chapter 1, where Obadiah wrote about his vision of the destruction of Edom and his vision of the day of the Lord. Obadiah wrote about Edom's destruction. He said the Lord showed him a vision and explained to him why Edom was going to soon be destroyed. God laid out his judgment on the land of Edom. He accused Edom of the following. It was violent toward his brother Jacob. It stood aloof when strangers carried off Israel's wealth and cast lots for the land. It gloated over Jacob's misfortune. It rejoiced over Israel's destruction. Not only did Edom not help Israel when it needed help, Edom went and looted the country after it was destroyed. Edom waited on the road and took refugees from Israel captive and enslaved them. So God pronounced judgment. Obadiah said Edom was doomed and would soon be destroyed. Obadiah wrote down some strange things God showed him. God told Obadiah to write to Edom, Your arrogance deceived you. Some of you live in fortified bunkers. Some of you make your home among the stars in heaven. See? You see? But who? Who is Edom? Who is Edom, man? Because it says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. You know, he's partially right on that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they also live in those, in those high sky rises. You know, those sky rises made of concrete. You know, that's that's him trying to recreate a, uh, a a mountain, trying to recreate a cave, you know, looking over everybody, man. Because they say, though, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, thence will I bring thee down. What what nation of people uses the eagle to represent, you know, themselves? See? Think think back to the Roman Empire. Let's let's pull it up. Look, Roman Empire, Imperial Eagle. Let's do uh, German, German Empire, Eagle. I think Russia, Russia has one as well. Russian Empire, Eagle. Come on now. Come on now. What's the uh what's what what's the bird of America? Bald eagle, man. Bald eagle. You know? So it's 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 giving you hints and clues, man. Yeah, how about Shah? He's not he's not uh dropping these breadcrumbs for nothing. Somebody has to be the Edomite. Somebody has to partake of this major judgment coming upon the earth, man. Let's continue. It would soon be destroyed. Obadiah wrote down some strange things God showed him. God told Obadiah to write to Edom. Your 
arrogance deceived you. Some of you live in fortified bunkers. Some of you make your home among the stars in heaven. But I will bring you down and I will destroy you and I will not leave anything left. Very strange indeed. Was God referring to a future time where the Edomite people made their homes in underground bunkers and homes that floated above the earth? Obadiah wrote down numerous ways Edom would be destroyed from a nation ransacking the country to treachery and spying and how countries at peace with Edom would deceive them and overpower them. So that's it. Because, you know, obviously you have it in Revelation where it says Babylon had making the whole world drunken. So that means these other nations, they were OK with the Babylon juice coming from America and other Western nations. But there's going to be a point in time where they sit back and realize that these people fucked us over. You know what I'm saying? These these people made our conditions worse than they were before we started dealing with them. Because that's why I said all they that were a, uh, at league with thee. You know what I'm saying? Obadiah spoke about the country of Edom being destroyed at some point in the future. And then, as is common with Old Testament prophets, Obadiah moved into speaking about his vision of the day of the Lord. Obadiah explained that this day draws near on all the nations, and that all nations must repent and turn back to the Lord. That, that, that's an error. That's an error. <laughs> that's an error. All nations will not repent and turn back to the Lord, man. Only the Israelites. Because you have Israelites that are scattered amongst all nations. So it's not going to be every single Chinese person, every single Japanese person, every single uh, African person, every single Arab person, every, you know, single East Indian person. No, the ones that are scattered amongst the uh, four corners of the earth that believe in the truth and call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai, Those are the ones that are going to be uh, that are going to repent and have a chance on making it. Um, you know to the next life Obadiah wrote that God gave warnings to all the nations and said that everything that they have done in wickedness it would be returned back on them they would drink and drink of God's wrath during the day of the Lord and God would devastate the nations many will look as if they had never even existed because the destruction would be so complete and that 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 many more specifically is America, man. When when the Lord God, real name Yahweh, is done judging this place, America, it's not going to be recognizable, man. You're not going to be able to hover over it and and find your fucking uh, childhood home. You're not going to be able to find your 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 you know your grandma's house. You're not going to be able to find the spot where you got your first kiss in middle school, man. This shit is about to be overthrown and destroyed, man. But God said his people would be safe. And on Mount Zion, his people would live in holiness. Jacob would take over all the country's possessions and would be a fire that couldn't be quenched. Uh, uh, slavery. <laughs> slavery. Because he said his people. Well, you know, he, he's a Christian. So he's thinking everybody that, that believes in JC. No, this is speaking of people of actual seed line of abraham isaac and jacob we are going to shine we are going to take over the nations and hold their possessions and part of holding their possessions includes holding them in captivity man rightly so look as if they had never even existed because the destruction would be so complete but god said his people would be safe and on mount zion his people would live in holiness Jacob would take over all the country's possessions and would be a fire that couldn't be quenched. The house of Joseph would be a flame burning hot. And Egypt and Edom would be a wasteland. God's people would rule the land with God and the kingdom would be the Lord's. The most important verse in this chapter is Obadiah 1.18 which states, You hear that? The most important verse in this chapter is Obadiah 118. Rule the land with God and the kingdom would be the Lord's. The most important verse in this chapter is Obadiah 118, which states, The 
house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter... You see that? <laughs> he didn't even... <laughs> he didn't even break it down, man. Who's it going to happen to? Who's it going to happen to, man? And it's not like you're playing fucking Russian roulette. We understand who the Edomites are, man. We understand who's going to be obliterated off the planet Earth. We understand who is causing the most hell. Who is bringing forth the most ungodly... Uh, doctrines on this planet earth man it's the edomites so what's gonna happen to them they have to be wiped out man obviously this guy does not have a breakdown because he he's trying to avoid identifying who the edomites are according to biblical prophecy which is one thing the the, the true prophets of how about shim shy we are not going to shun we're not going to stop teaching man with that, Lord willing, this edifying all praises, honor, and glory. It goes Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the blind of city apostles, the blind of city elders at Great Millstone, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, Throat Fulak, Shalom, Shalom.